You are welcome. Thank you. If it, is, hmm? that, is that a problem? No, no, no problem. You are not your normal self. What's the problem? No problem. Okay. Is my wife home or she's gone to church? Inside? <gasps> no, she didn't inside. <laughs> she didn't inside. Okay, now. Mom, I just say, you go could save for Abuja. So now next week you go come back. Uh, yes, but there was this emergency I need to come and take care of. So I'm going to go back, okay? Are you... Huh? What? I'm nothing. I'm okay! Hello, doctors! Oh, God, wife! Go ahead, I'm on chance! And for the past two weeks, none has come to visit him. Does that mean the family has given up on him? Since there is no one footing the bills, I don't think it's necessary we continue keeping him on life support system. I will take the necessary steps to disengage him. I will be in my office. Okay, doctor. Doctor, he just moved his toes now. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Oh my goodness, this is a good sign of revival. That's good news. Oh yes, indeed the good news. I'll be right back. Okay, All right, doctor. just put your eyes on him, okay? Okay, doctor. This is my house. This already is not your house, sir. This is my house now. What are you saying? Who are you? I should be asking you that question, sir. Who are you, sir? This is my house. Who are you? You can check the next street. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be excuse, excuse, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Please, and please, I don't want to disrespect you. I don't want to embarrass you. I don't want to insult you. This property here belongs to my dad. He bought this house and we've been living here for months. From a lady agent or a, so, so, from somebody. Please. Wait, you said check you've the been next place. Here for months. Wait, wait, wait. You've been living here for months. You have been living in this house for months. Is it for who? For a lady. I don't know. I don't know what's her name. I don't, I, I, for a lady, sir. Hey, God. Hey, God. 
You can check the name. Maybe you are mistaking this place for another place. You can go check at least this girl. This one look like the other one. You can go there and check. And then I sold my house. And then I sold my house. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Deception. I said, leave this place. Papa, please. I beg you. I know I wronged you. I wronged God. I did so many bad things. I am sorry. Please. You devil's incarnate. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. No, just look at you. I will not stop regretting knowing you. I brought you into the ministry. I showed you the true God. Now listen to me. I don't want to see you anywhere around my premises. Leave now. I said leave. I beg you, please. I don't. I did wrong things. I'm sorry. Forgive me, da. Forgive me, please. Wait. Thank you. I you now you. know how to kneel. You now know I have a house. Look at your mates. They're all doing well for themselves and their ministry. What did you do? You chose to rob the body of Christ to the mud. And you are here talking. See, I don't want to see you anywhere close to me again. Elijah! Elijah! Thank you, sir. Forgive me, please. Don't touch me again. I'm messy on me now. I'm messy on me. I don't want to see him anywhere close to my house again. Please. Please, I don't want to lose my job. Please, please. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg, I beg. I beg, I beg. I beg, I beg. Papa, stop. Please, they go now. Please, now. Deception is real, I don't want me a joker, from grace to grass, beware of them, wolf in sheep clothing. Deception is real, I don't want me a joker, from grace to grass, beware of them, wolf in sheep clothing. Deception is real, I don't want me a joker. From grace to grass, beware of them, wolf in sheep clothing. She not the fear at all. She not get to shame. It's sweet, though. It's very sweet. The corn is sweet. You like it? How much for this one? It's 100 naira. No corn. This is. Sure, you get it? No. I don't have fear, but I have coconut. Uh, just bring my manager. Put this out. Put one coconut and one corn. Thank How do you say your corn? How do you say your phone? Mommy! I'll finish selling the pure tower. Give me another one. My boy! 
Big boy. I'm so proud of you. See that, eh? And look at the money. Wow. I'm going to buy you a bicycle this time around, eh? Thank you. <laughs> Let me finish attending to them. I'll come and see you. Sit down, sit down. Sorry. Give me one. This one? Yes. I don't want to do What's this now? What's this now? Why are you doing this to me? Please, please, I beg you, please. Please don't don't throw me my children away, please. I'm begging you. Please, Ogatoni, please. Please. Please have mercy. See, eh? you, you know what I don't like about all this thing? Please, 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 you me. I don't like somebody begging me. You know the right thing to do. Just do it. <laughs> I will do it. I will do the right thing. Please, just give me two days. Two days, I will pay you the money. Please, don't throw me my children away. Please, pity me. Pity a breastfeeding mother like me, please. Eh? Eh? Breastfeeding what? You're a breastfeeding mother. What's my business with that? You know the right thing. Just do it. And leave the others begging. I don't like begging. Please, I beg you. I will pay. I will pay. You, you, you're, you're, see, eh? you don't know what is happening now. The owner of this vicinity is really angry with me. He's even angry that I, I accommodated you here. Hey! Please. Please, I'm begging you. Please, just two days. Please. Uh, if, if I don't pay in two days, arrest me. Th throw us away. I will pay. Just yeah. give me two days, please. please. See, eh? See, eh? I'll miss you, my children. See, eh? There's some people will say I don't have conscience. And I don't have conscience. I know you're a good man. I know you're a good man. Oh. Hey, see, eh? See, if I come here in two days' time and you don't give me my 2000 now, you will not like me. Makatuku, you will not like me. Because if I come here, I, I will finish you. My body will be doing... And you don't like it. I know you. You don't like it, oh. I know, I know why I'm saying this. Please. I know why I'm saying this. You don't like it, oh. Oh, Makayuchi. Oh, Makayuchi. If I come here, you don't give me my 2,000. Makola. Hey, I've told you. I will give you, please. I've said my own. Thank you, Agatonio. Thank you. Thank hey. 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 Where do I go from here, oh? Please, God, please, I beg you, please help me. Help me, oh, help me, God. I know you can do it for me. I know you can do it for me, Lord. I know you can do it for me. There's nothing you cannot do, God. Please help me, help me. Hey, Chimo. Go, my brother. I'm here. Your son has come to me for the fourth time now. He's complaining bitterly on how you threw Choma, your daughter, out of the house for the past two years now. And when she came back to beg for forgiveness, you told her categorically clear that you have disowned her for good. Okonkwo. Your son and I, in fact the entire family, are bitter on how you hardened your heart towards your own blood. Okonkwo. What was the sin that Choma committed? That you have to say such thing to her. Please, my brother. Please. Find a place in your heart to forgive her. Let us go out there and look for her. Let us go and bring her back home. We all know that she erred. But we should not forget in a hurry that she is the only daughter of this family. Are you done talking? Yes. To err is human. To forgive is divine. Well, I've heard you. Anytime I'm ready to discuss this issue, I will send for you. Hmm? Okonkwo, well, let us discuss it now. Please, Papa. 
We have been begging you for a long time now. This is the same thing you said the other time we talked about this. Please, Papa, forgive my sister. Be cool. Papa, please. Obina, Papa, the next time you report me to my elder brother again, I will disown you as well. Mark my word. Okonkwo. Okonkwo. Okonkwo, are you walking out on your elder brother? Okonkwo. Uncle, can you imagine? Okay. I know what to do. I have to report him to the elders. Uncle, please do. No, please do. What a nonsense. How can Okonkwo be able in this way? Okay. So your father refused to listen to your uncle, his elder brother? Yes. That is what happened. This is serious. And you said you also threatened to disown you as well? Yes. I can't believe it. But why so much hate on your elder sister? How can your father do this to his only daughter? Yes, she did a terrible thing in her marriage, but she doesn't deserve to be treated this way. Yes. Well, I don't blame him. He is pain. He is pain by the way my sister disobeyed him and got married to that hopeless and useless man of God. That let that divorce her in a shameful way. You know, my father gave him my sister to marry in the act of Durex. God would punish that man. God would definitely give him his put to eat. Try. So, what are you going to do now? Now that no one's know anti trauma whereabouts. So painful, my love. What is such lovely and good rich woman? I'm thinking of going to the city to go and look for my sister. I miss her honestly. Especially her son. I miss him so much. I understand. Amaka, I'm not sure you understand. If not for you, what will I have done? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> If not that, you are my friend. If not that, you are my junior in both primary and secondary school. I would have asked you out of my compound this minute. What is it? I am sorry. You better be sorry. You better be. Why would you bring up this conversation again? For a girl I've already disowned? Why? It is. No, 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 you know the kind of person I am. You know my temperament. You know. Once I vomit a word, it doesn't come back to me. Don't try it again. What is it? It's true. I know, but. There is no but in this. No but. You want me to practice my military tactics on you? Or you forgot that I'm a retired army officer? What is this? Huh? Why are you people like this? Why do you, why you keep pestering me about this issue? Now, let me warn you. Don't ever come here because of this matter again. You are here to visit me. Fine. Fine, I'm not stopping you. Stay there. Sit there. And remain visiting. As soon as you are done, that's the gate. Okay? You can leave. You want to go? I am saying, consider your grandchild, your grandchildren that you so longed for. How could you make this kind of decision? Oh, Joma, Joma, Joma. 
You used to be your father's pride. Why did you go this far? Why did you end up this way? How will you reach to this service, my husband? Also, God took over everything. And the important thing is that the church understood the message. You preach about love and forgiveness. Yes, that was Holy Ghost doing his things. Hmm. Glory be to God our Father. Amen. I actually love the parts that you elaborated about the Good Shepherd. When Christ said that a Good Shepherd must take care of all the sheep assigned to him. And if one is missing out of the hundred, he should leave the 99 and go in search of the missing one. Just that in particular. Exactly, you are right. Mm. Mm. It is so amazing how you preach about love and forgiveness of sin. You taught us and you told us not to hold grudges against one another. That we should at all times be ready to forgive the heads of our nails so that God in his infinite mercy can show us his love and his blessings. You are right. That is the word of God. And the word of God is life. I am here to ask you. Don't you want God to show you his love and infinite mercy just as you have taught the congregation today? What are you saying exactly? And where are you driving at? <laughs> My husband, I am sorry. Dear Pastor Duke, you cannot preach what you do not practice. No, you cannot. You have to let go of the pain and unforgiving heart. I am talking about Pastor Israel, the one that you have hated, disliked, <clears throat> and have refused to forgive him. That one is out of context. Please, I don't want you to raise this matter again on my table. My point is that you cannot teach the church to forgive one another when you have built an unforgiving heart towards a pastor who went astray. There you go again. I pray that the Holy Spirit speak the right word to your heart and redirect your step and redefine your soul. Amen. You know the husband you're married to. I don't want you to raise this matter any longer in my house because you will not like what I will do to you. Dear Pastor Duke, listen to your preaching and do not act otherwise. God bless you, husband. You're welcome, woman of God.
my word have crumbled. My life is shattered. My word have crumbled. Yeah. My life is shattered. Madam, Madam, Madam. Uh, Oga, why do not know? Oh, all is well. All is well. Uh, you want buy corn? Yeah, I want corn. Please give me the ones of 100 Naira. Okay, these ones. Yes. I will need five pieces. Five? Yes. You don't have um, black nylon to package as well for me. No, first, only white nylon. I don't search, I don't see them. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know one pair? No, 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 no. I just want only corn alone. Only corn? Yes. Hope this corn is fresh, though. It's not fresh, though. I just buy them today. Yeah, it's fresh. It's fresh. Thank you. How's the baby doing? She's fine, as you can see. She's enjoying her sleep. Oh, well, thank, thank you. Thank you all. I bet they come, oh.
yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're too slow. You're too slow. Fast, fast. Uh -huh. Fast, so oh, fast. Time is money. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, come. Come, come, come. Oh. This was a disturb me. Oh, come. Come, 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 come. Hello, ma. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry to bother you, please. I mean, the man that brought your goods, the, the barrel pusher, do you know him, please? No, I don't know him. I just knew him in the market. Yeah, he's the trunk pusher. Yes. I don't know where he's living, but his name is Israel. Just enter the market, just ask of Israel. Israel? Yes. Is that really yes, him? Yes, yes. That is him. Yes, Pastor Israel. I don't know if he's the pastor, but his name is Israel. What is happening? His fair complexion. He's, wait, am I in trance or something? Pastor Israel! Pastor Israel! Bind the enemy concerning your life. 
Amen. I bind the enemy concerning your womb. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You shall be healed. Amen. I release healing power into your life. Amen. Holy Ghost, fire. Fire. Kill every iniquity inside your body. Amen. Every foreign object inside your body. Ah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Ah, you shall be healed. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Sister Amen. Tina. Amen. As we were praying, I could feel it in my spirit. The Lord told me that the fibroid in you has melted away. Amen. Amen. And you have been healed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So all you need to do for me now is just go to the hospital. Let's just be sure. Go to the hospital, do a scan, and let the doctors confirm. I believe in my spirit that you are healed. Let them confirm that you are indeed healed and the fibroid is no longer in your body. Amen. I believe too, Pastor. Amen. And now, this Tina, when I was praying, I saw like a booklet being handed over to you. It was a visa, a passport, ah! Canadian Jesus. passport with a visa yes. inside being given to you. Yes, Pastor. Have yes. you been praying about that? Yes, Pastor. Oh, yes. God is good. Yes. God is good. Ah, Jesus. It shall be released Lord. unto you this month. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. This is okay. what I've been praying for all my really? life. Really? If God does these two things for me, I will never forget you, Pastor. I will not. Give glory to God. Ah, thank you, Jesus. God, you would. Thank you, God Lord. is good. He's it's awesome. Okay. It's thank okay. you. Calm thank down. You, Calm down. It's okay. It's done. Okay? So just give me the feedback about the hospital. All right? So we'll meet again some other time. God bless Thank you. you so much. God bless you. Please Pastor. make sure you call the next person right, when you step Thank out. Thank you okay? so much. Tina, are you all right? Whose bones can't leave my skin? I can't believe what I just saw. <sighs> this is really, really shocking. I mean, you told me that this was the same pastor that prayed for you and your fibroid tumor disappeared. He also prayed for you. Your visa for Canada was released. This is very shocking. I don't even have words to quantify what I literally saw. I mean, that man of God prayed for me right in his office. And I was healed of my fibroid. I got my visa to leave this country same month. I mean, Bella. I'm not joking. Like, I know what I'm saying. You're serious. How, 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 how did this happen? You are definitely serious about this. I am serious. <sighs> I mean, I, I even remember you, each time you call me, you know, you remember? I told you, 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 you I, I told you about my pastor. Several times, right? Yes, you that told me. The same man. But, but you also told me that um, um, I think his building or his ministry collapsed, and after a while, the man ghosted. That is the same man. Wow, that is the same man. Unbelievable. <sighs> Bella, you know what? What? I think. I need to see his head pastor from where he came out from. Yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. Like how how did he 
How did it fall out like that? What reduced him to an ordinary barrel pusher? How did that happen? Oh, this, yeah. is, this, is, this is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I think the right thing to do is to see the head pastor like he yes, suggested. Oh, let's just go. I can't believe what just happened. I need to leave this market. I am ashamed of being called a pastor. I am ashamed of answering that name. I am ashamed of calling God to help me. I feel like God will strike me to death if I pray to Him. My life is cursed. The life of God is rekindled against me. I cannot call his holy name with my cursed nature. I just have to leave here.
Ma, please, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm here to look for the same man I asked of um, earlier today. Please, do you know where I can find him? Am I your timekeeper? Why, 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 what kind of disturbance is this? You came in the morning, I told you I did not see him. But later after you left, I later saw him. Now, this evening, I'm coming again. He passed just now. Just follow here, you will see him. Follow here, follow here. I should just follow here. Yes, down. yes. Hello, Ella. I am still in the market. Yeah. I return to see if I can find him. I met the same woman and she said she saw him around. It's over four hours I've been here. Ella. All my shadows are cancelled for the day. I must find this pastor. I must. All right. I'll see you when I come back. No, I'm coming direct to the house. All right, thank you. Oh, God, help me. What happened? The pastor I was dreaming he would conduct my wedding. I mean, what went wrong? What happened to his mega church and congregation? What happened? No, he can't fall out just like that. He looked at me when I called him Pastor Israel. He's the one. The woman also called him Israel. Maybe he's somewhere observing me and has refused to come to me. Oh God, this is too much to think out. Yes, I mean, I was 
But she, she's innocent now. Why, why are you doing this now? Why are you being unreasonable? Will you shut up? Now, let me tell you. I have disowned you. You are no longer my daughter. Hey. Yes. Hey. I have disowned you. Now, please, please, please. Don't do this to me, please. I don't have any way to go to. I have no home. My husband has put to my account. He took everything from me. Everything. Please. Please don't do this to me. Consider my country.